Now you might be asking why functional programming matters. After all, you're working in C Sharp, and C Sharp is an object-oriented language, right? Well, consider this comment from John Carmack of id Software. John says, no matter what language you work in, programming in a functional style provides benefits. You should do it whenever it is convenient, and you should think hard about the decision when it isn't convenient. Here, John is specifically addressing C++ programmers. Now, C++ is hardly a language one typically associates with functional programming, but he's right. When you apply the basic functional principles to your software, your resulting product will be more predictable, reliable, and maintainable in the long run. So if all of this applies to C++, just imagine the possibilities in a managed language like C Sharp. Here's something else to think about as we begin this trip into functional programming in C Sharp. In 2008, Bob Martin released Clean Code, a book found on many developers' must-read lists. Clean Code describes a series of guidelines that developers should follow to ensure their code is maintainable over time. Although the book focuses on Java, the guidelines are also highly applicable to C Sharp or any other language for that matter. What's interesting, though, is that while a number of the guidelines focus on more subjective things like code formatting, commenting, and naming, Chapter 3 focuses on functions. Concepts such as keeping functions small, not repeating code, doing only one thing, avoiding side effects, and even limiting the number of parameters are all things that come naturally when programming in a functional language or in a functional style, as the case may be. As a side note, if you'd like to dive deeper into clean code, be sure to check out Corey House's excellent course on the subject here on Pluralsight. So if Carmack is right that programming in a functional style provides benefits, and Clean Code, one of the most respected books on object-oriented software development, covers so many things that apply to both paradigms, are the two paradigms really so different? Michael Feathers succinctly described the difference between functional and object-oriented programming thusly on Twitter. Object orientation makes code understandable by encapsulating moving parts. Functional programming makes code understandable by minimizing moving parts. This simple statement captures the key difference between object orientation and functional programming, which is that both paradigms attempt to solve the same problems but take very different approaches. Object orientation is typically about trying to manage the ever-changing state of a system, whereas functional programming is about trying to avoid that state altogether. That is, methods are often dependent upon and modify the data associated with a class, whereas the functions in a functional program should depend only on their inputs and should not make changes to those values or other shared state. Methods are often dependent upon and modify the data associated with a class, whereas the functions in a functional program should depend only on their inputs and should not make changes to those values or other shared state. The result is that software written in a functional style is generally more predictable, easier to maintain, and easier to test because individual functions don't rely on anything beyond what's passed in. It's important to note here, though, that while the two paradigms use different approaches to solve problems, they're hardly mutually exclusive. In fact, if they were mutually exclusive, this course wouldn't even be possible. Ultimately, the difference between object orientation and functional comes down to how you compose your application.